The next bull market's gonna make you rich, if you know the secrets on how to spot it. With a little bit of psychology, economics, and paying attention to company behavior, you can spot it, and you're gonna enjoy all the rewards. A bull market is when prices explode upwards. The longest bull market ran for 11 years, returning 323% on the S&P. It survived a European debt crisis, a trade war, and even stayed through all six seasons of the Jersey Shore. <laughs> The only thing that managed to stop it was a global pandemic, which also sent the whole world to a grinding halt. But here's the thing, making money from a bull market is all about timing, and that's because it isn't some straight line up for a fixed period of time. Sometimes the best profits might come early in the bull market, other times hype might increase slowly, investors trickling in over time. But whatever happens, you need to be there ready to seize the opportunity. And in order to do that, you need to learn how to spot the five signs a bull market is coming. Confidence. It's the key to success in dating, work, and and investing too. Except in this case, it's not your confidence that matters so much as everyone else's. Investor behavior is the number one sign of an impending bull market. Look for upbeat signs for the future, like Kramer telling everyone to sell. I made a mistake here, I was wrong. That was still advised and I apologize. But seriously, are more people buying stocks and Bitcoin? Can you smell the money and greed in the air? Which news articles are getting more clicks, the negative stuff or the positive stuff? Investor confidence is particularly important in crypto because it doesn't have the same intrinsic value, so price increases can be caused by governments, cultural movements, or even a well-positioned tweet. Bitcoin would be a tiny, worthless technology if we weren't confident that it was this exciting new way to think about the monetary system. And Doge Elon Mars would be worth a fortune if we didn't think it was just some kind of weird joke. Investor confidence, which is a nice way of saying investor emotions, drives markets, and it's your mission to spot it. And even though crypto is affected dramatically from these emotions, it's far from a crypto-specific issue. Our own emotions have ruined the fun for everyone since at least the 1600s. It even drives massive stocks today. Take Tesla for an example. Tesla's price saw an unprecedented rise, helping to make Elon Musk the richest man on earth. But guess what? A lot of Tesla's income, historically and currently, comes from selling regulatory credits. And in 2020 alone, the company would have run at a loss if it weren't for these credits. And that's not Tesla hate by any means. That's an example of confidence. People are so confident in Tesla and Elon that the stock still does amazing. So keeping an eye on confidence is a must for both companies and entire markets. But it's important to remember that not every rally or bout of confidence means 11 more years of prosperity. Which brings me to bull traps. I know, I know. No, this one isn't really a sign of a bull market, but it's a sign you must avoid. It might be tempting to jump in on the hype train early when things are starting to look bullish, but I'm asking you to take a minute and scope out the landscape before you do anything crazy. A typical bull trap looks almost identical to a bull market, but it's not. This might be the worst thing a bull can do to you. Marco Gallen lost his left when the raging beast's horn pierced through his thigh. Second worst. Here's how it typically works. The price rallies before your eyes. You see a positive article or two on CNBC and you think, meh. Then it keeps rising. You see more good news, and now you're interested. An important resistance level is broken, and suddenly you've lost control. You're snapping up assets like crazy. It's madness, but you're winning. It's finally happened. The bull market kicked off, and you're getting paid. You're already counting the profits and dreaming of everything you're going to buy. But we know how this story goes. The market collapses, resets to previous lows, you fell for the trap. Now, there are many different versions of a bull trap, bear bounces, dead cats, but the general idea is that they are smaller, shorter bursts in price. But how do you spot a bull trap? The best method is keeping an eye on trading volume. How much money is being exchanged within a particular asset or within a market? This is important because when volume is low, it takes fewer investment dollars to push prices up. A stock increasing 10% with 100 million in trade volume is much more meaningful than a stock increasing 10% with 10 million in trade volume. The more money behind a trend, the more confidence you can have as an investor that it's actually a real trend. But in general, the easiest way to avoid traps is to take a broader, more zoomed out view of the market. One of the best tips is to try to analyze market indexes rather than individual assets. This will make you less likely to be fooled by some false rally if you're able to just take a step back and look at the trend within a wider context. And if we're talking wider context, we can go even further. In improving a economy is one of the clearest signs that the market is about to go up. The more an economy does well, the more people hear about it, more companies hire, more money is spent, and you guessed it, more confidence people feel. And we know what that means. But what are the signs of an improving economy? Well, GDP going up, stocks rising, crypto rising, and a red-hot Japanese haircut indicator. 
<laughs> Seriously, there's a whole range of these bizarre indicators for an improving economy, like the Big Mac index. This uses the price of Big Macs to evaluate currency values and per capita income. The price of Big Macs literally helps show whether the currency of a country is being priced correctly. The men's underwear index is another one. This shows the demand for men's underwear moves in line with economic health. Apparently, underwear is a luxury for dudes. As someone who's due for a fresh set, I get it. Now, if you don't want to go around asking your buddies about their underwear status, you could also look at lower interest rates. Generally speaking, when interest rates are low, cash is cheaper and the economy will likely grow fast in the future. When interest rates are low, it's when tech companies launch in value thanks to all that cheap debt. But remember, in a bull market, you're going to get all kinds of news stories saying one thing or another. And while they might help move the market up or down, it's best to focus on the clearest indicators. Every day, there's good news stories, bad news, weird news. What I'm saying is if you only look for certain kinds of news, you're going to find it, but you won't be seeing the full picture. You want to understand what's really going on in the world, not convince yourself about what you want to happen in the world. But what if instead of going broad and all economics-y, we went more technical? We use some data. Boring, maybe, but useful. Spotting the next bull market might not be as difficult as you think, and the right technical indicators can be like tarot cards for the economy. Take the volatility index. This will let you see if a 20% rise in prices has occurred, which is a strong signal for a bull market. You can also take a look at moving averages. They give you insights on price trends. A bullish crossover is especially interesting. This is where the short-term moving average goes above the long-term figure, which simply means prices are breaking out and trending upwards. You might also want to consider an exponential moving average. This puts an added emphasis on the most recent price movements, meaning it reacts more quickly to a changing market, meaning you can spot changes early. Or you can even go full-on market geek and check out the 50% retracement level. This indicator has been proven to show if we're in a bull market or a bear market rally. And believe it or not, it hasn't been wrong since the Second World War, so I strongly recommend you use it. And if you're looking for an app to monitor these things, I recommend Webull. They have some of the best charts in the game, and if you sign up, they'll give you up to 12 free stocks just for joining. I'll have them linked down below. Now, these tools are all fantastic, but I wouldn't use them on their own. They're just part of your strategy. Never bet the house on any one thing. So we've already covered a lot of ground here. And there's no shame in watching through this video twice because memorizing these techniques could literally mean the difference between you profiting in the next bull market or not. And be honest, ask yourself this. Do you feel confident enough right now to predict the market or are you looking for even more signs? Because if psychology and economics aren't quite enough, you can always look at what companies are up to. Companies spend ungodly amounts of money trying to figure out the economy. And this is because they're the first to be impacted. When the economy is hurting, companies lay people off. CEOs get replaced. They cut back on investments, and they ride out the storm any way they can. So companies are incentivized to try and predict what's going to happen next, which means if you're smart and you pay attention, you can let them do the predicting for you. And it's actually pretty easy. When companies in mass start hiring, opening new locations, or investing in ambitious new technology, you should be interested. It's not an exact science, but try to understand the real reasons for the business decisions that you read about and formulate what the impact might be. Spotting the next bull market is exciting and can literally make you rich. So ideally, you'll use all the indicators that we talked about with perhaps a stronger focus on those that best fit your skills. But it isn't easy, and you should look for every bit of help you can get. So follow what the big investors and the companies do and then consider why they made those actions. Now, thankfully, every type of investor is welcome to join our investing community at Finova and get a better understanding of the market. We have a massive community of investors who bounce ideas around and discover what's really going on in the world. So join us and you'll have hands-on coaching right at your fingertips whenever you need it, boosting your chances of success through knowledge and community. Until then, that's the video. Subscribe and I hope you have a profitable day.